happy Wednesday afternoon. Thank you for joining me as you log in um, to the page. Why don't you say hi and where you're from? Um, my name is Leslie Benson. If you're new to my page um, or my channel, this will be replayed again over on my YouTube channel. My name is Leslie Benson. I am the founder of The Plaid Poodle, and I teach people how to make beautiful paper crafts, greeting cards, home decor, um, and such using stamps, paper, and ink. I'm so honored that you would take a minute out of your day to um, stop by and watch my video. Live. Um, like I said, if you're here live, um, say hi, raise your hand, hit the like button, hit the share button. I always love that. That helps me out a lot. Um, and I appreciate it so much. Today I'm talking about um, KISS cards, which stands for Keep It Simple, Sweetie. <laughs> and KISS cards are great for when you're in a hurry. Um, you need a quick birthday card, a quick wedding card, a quick whatever card. Um, when you need multiples, you need to send out multiple cards. Um, I got this pattern and idea from a fellow demonstrator, Donna Mack. Um, she sent me a beautiful Christmas card using um, this simple little pattern. Um, so if you're making a bunch of Christmas cards or birthday cards or thank you cards just to have on hand, uh, kiss cards are great for that. Um, sometimes just a simple little card, um, when you're not feeling your crafting mojo, if you know what I mean, um, you just start kind of blah. Um, just try something simple instead of something um, hugely out of the box. Um, and it'll sometimes um, urge your crafting mojo to get back in gear. Another thing, um, they're very cost effective. To make this card, I could make six cards out of one um, 12 by 12 sheet of designer series paper. I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate this card in just a second, but I wanted to show you. This is the, the card stock I used, and it is from, I always forget what it's called. I think it's Lily Pad, Lily Impressions Designer Series Paper. And this is from the Celebration brochure, which, so you can get a pack of 12 sheets of the Lily Impressions designer series paper, front and back, um, for free with a $50 purchase from St Stampin' Up. And I would love it if you purchased it from me. This car, this paper is beautiful. It reminds me of uh, Claude Monet. But I picked these two sheets. I really liked the gorgeous grape color and the background. I love this too. I love the greens on this sheet. It was hard for me to decide. Um, if I could make six, if I use the front and back of one 12 by 12 sheet, if that makes sense. Um, but I used the back of this sheet instead, and that's beautiful too. Those blues and pinks. Um, but if you use two sheets of 12 by 12, like, like I did the front side of one and the back side of the other, you would be able to make 12 cards and you can't beat the price of that um so kiss cards are um are a great value okay let's get to crafting today's card i just have a simple little life is better with a friend like you i love that font and inside my card is thank you and i took this sentiment from the Peaceful Moments stamp set, which is a brand new stamp set from Stampin' Up. It is in our new mini catalog. We're calling it a mini now. And it's in the Painted Poppies suite. Get my words out. And this very popular suite, I'll be using it a lot in the near future. Um, but it does coordinate with these lovely floral um, stamps and dies. If you do not have a mini catalog and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or a celebration brochure, I would love to get you one. Um, just contact me, either message me here or um, 
you know, give me a Facebook message and we will get these out in the mail to you. Okay. So I'm using the Peaceful Moment stamp set. I'm using my favorite black ink to stamp with, uh, Memento ink. I'm using new uh, Peaceful Poppy sequence that's from the same suite as the, the stamp set. I'm using the Mint Macaron textile ribbon. It's a quarter inch. I like the size. And this paper has a little bit of mint macaron, and I thought we needed a little contrast. This is out of the annual catalog. All right. So to get started, I'm going to do the second card in a little different color. You need a eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. I'm going to fold it in half. And that's going to make our card base. This color is Granny Apple Green, and it also coordinates with the lily. I'm going to have to memorize this today. Let me look it up again. Lily Impressions. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. The Lily Impressions. Then I have two pieces of four inch by three inch designer series paper. And I'm using a pretty um, muted background piece. And I'm just gonna put it on a little lopsided or cockeyed. With a little snail. Another thing about kiss cards or keep it simple sweetie cards is they um, don't require a whole lot of layers a whole lot of um, tools so they're excellent for beginning card makers or beginning stampers so if you are wanting to get into card making and stamping kiss cards are a good way to start Okay, now I'm gonna put the second four by three inch piece of paper directly straight. And it's impressionistic. I think I have it right side up. I think the flowers are supposed to go that way. Now, to um, make the sentiment, I am using the, I'm gonna use the Stamparatus because I get a little nervous about getting it straight, especially when I'm doing this on camera with y'all. And I'm these stamps are the red rubber stamps. <clears throat> and they make a very nice crisp image. I love them, but um, sometimes I have a hard time unless I'm right over top getting it straight. So this is a Stamparatus. If you don't know what it is, it's just a stamp placement tool. It's it's uh, one of my workhorses in my scrap room. And I forgot to cut my sentiment paper. So I am gonna cut a piece of 5 eighths. I'm gonna try and do it on this mini trimmer. There's the one inch, there's the seven eighths. That's three quarters. I'm not sure I can do it on there if there's a five eighths mark. I better use my big trimmer. I'm sure there is. I just can't see it. Like I said, I'm not right over it, but this is gonna be five eighths inches by four inches for our sentiment. Alrighty, sorry about that. Like I said, I thought I had my ducks in a row. Um, another thing about this Peaceful Moments is it has sentiments for every occasion and kiss cards are great for that. You can get a bunch ready and this has friendship cards, congratulations, sympathy, thank you. Um, it's just a great set to have when you need a good um, sentiment. Okay, now I'm ready for this. Put my little tag here. All 
So if I was making uh, 25 of these, I could whip out the tags really fast with the Stamparatus. There we go. And while I have it open, I'm gonna do the interior of the card. And what's nice about the Stamparatus is, I'm trying not to hit my camera stand. We can pull, there we go, <laughs> pull the plate out and just flip it over. And I've, got, I've already got my thank you positioned. And like I said, I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is my favorite ink to use um, for most projects. It works great. It works wonderful with our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. I just like it. I use it a lot. It's usually uh, what I use the most. Okay, so we've got our tag. We've got our inside card. We've got um, our card base. Now I'm going to use my... Um, triple banner punch to punch out the, um, to flag the ends of my tag. The, this tool isn't necessary, but it's nice if you have it because it just makes a perfect little flagged edge. And then I'm gonna pop that up with Stampin' Dimensionals, I have a little bit here and you wouldn't have to pop it up it'd be cute just like that but by popping it up it adds a little dimension a little bit more interest fingernails are worthless i tell you mine are okay I'm gonna pop that right in the middle. And you could stop right there. That's that's um, just a basic little kiss card, but I have a hard time stopping. So I'm gonna add a little bow. <laughs> and I'm using, like I said at the beginning of the video, Mint Macaron textured textile ribbon and it's fourth of an inch so I thought that was a nice size and it pulls out the colors in that designer series paper and if you weren't here at the beginning this is a free option with any $50 purchase um, during celebration which is January through March it's the celebration brochure and the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper is a free option with a minimum $50 purchase. And there are no limits. It's a whole brochure of free product. Every $50 you spend, you get to pick another one. It's very addicting. Maybe one of these lives I should, <laughs> I should stack up all the free things I've already gotten. <laughs> I have to do that. And I placed an order yesterday too. I never know if you go up. Is there a rule? When you make, when you kind of trim off your ribbon ends. This one's a little extreme. Okay, and then I'm going to just um, adhere that on with a mini glue dot. Okay. Then I'm going to kind of try and pull that ribbon out of the way so it's more there. Okay, and then we can put the inside of our card. right in the middle. So I did one last thing, which again is not necessary, 
but I added some little sequins. I just can't help myself. And I'm gonna use my little you pick tool, sorry about that, to add three little gold sequins. And for that, I think I'm just gonna put a little dot <laughs> of multi-purpose liquid glue. Fine tip glue would work too. I find the multi-purpose liquid glue dries a little faster than the fine tip glue. And I'm in a rush all the time. Not really. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm kind of a procrastinator. Any procrastinators out there? Okay, like I said, the sequins is probably taking our kiss card up one level. But it's a very, there goes my you pick tool. There we go. But it's a very economical way to take it up a level. <clears throat> I, let's see how much these um, sequins are. Baker's twine, sequins. Um, rhinestones, little things like that don't cost a lot out of your crafting budget, but they take your projects up just a tiny bit. Okay, $7 for 750 I have never, and I teach classes, we use lots of sequins. I have never emptied a whole thing of sequins because you just use them sparingly, um, unless you're making a shaker card. And then you would use more. <clears throat> There's flower shapes in here. There's all different colors to coordinate with um, the sweet, the painted poppy sweet, which I will have to do something with soon because I have that sweet. Hi, Loopy. Um, so there you go. That's a keep it simple. Sweetie card. I had to remember to say that right. Um, so you can see how fast it would it would be to put together several of these. And like I said, two pieces of 12 by 12 designer series paper would make 12 cards. You could leave off your um, sentiment and um, then when you're just keep them, you know, stored away and when you have an event or, or, an, or an occasion, you can, then you could stamp the appropriate sentiment um, and put the tag on later. So um, there's another tip for you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping into my first Coffee and a Card for 2020. I'm going to be on here every Wednesday. I'm going to try and do it at 1 p.m. unless, you know, there's other things that get in the way. But 1 p.m. on Wednesdays, kind of after lunchtime. And you can always watch the videos on my YouTube channel later or um, the replay on my Facebook page. Um I will have a blog post up on my blog, theplaidpoodle.com, later with all the directions and photos and everything if you'd like to try and replicate this Keep It Simple card. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.